Hi everyone, my name is Ladelina and I'm a senior content manager here at Ox Labs. Today, we'll discuss what a lead scraper is and if web scraping is legal. Also, we'll take a look at web scraping challenges and explain how web scraping can help you generate business leads. Gaining potential customers, so-called leads, is a driving force for each business as it draws people interested in using products or services. To acquire qualified leads, you'll need information such as company name, phone number, company email, street address, and so on. Naturally, you will search for this data on the internet, but doing it manually will cost you a tremendous amount of time. This is where web scraping, a process of automatically collecting publicly available data from targeted websites, steps in. Let's say you target a specific business category to get the set contact details and other data. For this task, you'll need a lead scraper. Now, another much discussed question is if collecting all this information for your business purposes is legal. Well, web scraping isn't illegal by itself. Collecting public information is fine if you're using it in the right way. That is, if you aren't breaking any laws or rules related to the website you're scraping the data from. We've also covered this question, is the web scraping legal, in one of our blog posts, so check this pop-up link if you're interested. Now that you know which data is available for collection and extraction, let's take a look at some web scraping challenges that you may run into. For instance, IP blocks and captchas. When you're scraping data, you send vast amounts of requests to servers. Servers flag it as suspicious if all these requests come from a single IP address. This results in IP blocks. Another popular security measure is CAPTCHA. When a system suspects a user to be a bot, the CAPTCHA comes up. Only advanced scraping tools can handle CAPTCHAs, so you should do an in-depth research in order to choose the right tool to overcome this obstacle. A solution to these problems is a proxy, an intermediary between a user and a server that can serve as an essential helper in accessing public data, avoiding IP blocks and CAPTCHAs. According to a report from HubSpot, which you can find in the description below, 61% of marketers consider generating traffic and leads to be their biggest challenge. However, it might not be that hard if you know what steps you need to take. Step number one, identify sources. First, you'll need to identify where your target customers are. The more certain you are where to find them, the higher the quality of your leads will be. Let's say your competitor data is public, then you can scrape geographic information from their website. Step number two, extract data. When you know what your targets are, it's time to decide how you'll gather the public information that you need. You can choose a more costly way of extracting data and buy a ready-to-use business lead scraper. Otherwise, you can purchase a scraping tool or develop your own infrastructure. Step number three, choose the right proxy. If you decide to build your own scraper, you will need proxies. Here at Oxlabs, we offer various types of proxies, such as data central, residential, and other types. Um, how to choose the right proxy type, you may ask. We have this question answered in one of our articles. Check out the link in the pop-up if you're interested in learning more. If you decide to build the web scraper for lead generation yourself, you can build it using Python programming language. It's perfectly suitable for web scraping as Python offers many tools and libraries that make building a web scraper easier. If you're planning to generate leads with a web scraper built with Python, watch our easy to follow video tutorial on how to do that. And that's it! If you have any questions about proxies or would like to find out more about any specific topic mentioned in this video, drop us a message at hello at oxlabs.io or simply leave a comment below. Also, if you like this content, share it on social media and spread the word. Thank you for watching and see you in other videos.